Okay, Dr. Wayne, now you told all the viewers what health is not, but tell us what health really is. Yes. Here's what health is, and, and I'm going to read you a little something here from the Blue Cross Blue Shield, and I thought they, they did it so succinctly. Let me, you don't mind if I read you no, something, do you? No, go for it. Health, according to the Blue Cross Blue Shield, is the complete state of physical fitness, sound mental health, and it's our birthright. By the way, remember when I said on our last episode that being healthy is our right, but being sick is our choice? Okay, so according to the Blue Cross Blue Shield, it's our birthright, and it's a lifestyle that composes sound health and outstanding physical and mental fitness. It costs little to maintain. It can't be stolen from you uh, or taxed. It's enjoyable almost from the moment of birth, and it's well within our grasp. Here's the last paragraph I'll read you. A healthy lifestyle not only will add to the length of your life, but will also improve the quality of your life and the richness and the simple joys of being alive, living better and living fit, and allows you thousands more hours of vibrant, active living, a wider range of activity, and the opportunity for greater accomplishment, and it will allow you to experience life with added strength, vitality, creativity, and pleasure. Now, I, uh, I'd like to mention, as I mentioned uh, earlier, that what health is not so you can see that it's just not the absence of disease. It's all of these pluses. And we are living in freedom to actually do that. And uh, with, with all of that, here we are living, as I say, in freedom. And it is, you know, regardless of how corrupt some of the things that's going on in our country right today, this is the most opportune time in our nation's history ever, ever for anybody to do something significant globally. I was listening to Paul Harvey one time, and I never will forget what he had to say. Hello, fellow Americans, he says, mm -hmm. if it doesn't, uh, there's more good news that comes in our newsroom than any other. Th I mean, we got over 90% of the uh, news comes in, and it's great news. But he says, we can't print it. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't bleed, it doesn't read, I, yep, I and heard it that before. doesn't lead. Aha. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if it doesn't bleed, it doesn't read and it doesn't lead. Mm -hmm. So we're hearing about all the bad things and everything. We gotta turn our mindsets around. Remember, it's an attitude. Mm -hmm. It's an attitude. And uh, you have a choice. You can turn that doom and gloom news off, or in, you can tune into shows like you do, and that you're putting out the greatest stuff. I've watched your shows. I know what you're doing. So that here's the deal. You are putting a message out there that is, you've got the same time as that person that's doing doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. But this is the best time to be living in our nation's history. I have a seminar that we have. It's called The Grass is Greener and This is the Other Side. Mm -hmm. I like that. This is an awesome place to live. So now I believe that we're created in the image of health and happiness and too many of us try to increase the standard of living and not the quality of life. So here's the deal. Don't give up your health. In my every audience that I ever speak to I say, never give up your health in your quest for wealth because you will spend all the wealth to regain your health. And then when you die, your brother-in-law gets to drive your car. <laughs> that's a bummer. That is a bummer. That's a right. bummer. <laughs> so well, here's what we really should fear mm -hmm. is our ability to adjust. If you put a frog in hot water, boom, he jumps right out of it. But if you put him in the cold water and start heating the water up, he starts adjusting, and pretty soon he succumbs. He dies because of his ability to adjust. Mm -hmm. And I think it's the same with us. We have the ability to adjust. And we go, okay, okay. And too many of us, I think, feel that we should receive a badge of honor for the one that's in the worst condition. Mm -hmm. I'm on the beach in the morning. I live up in the, a little north of Daytona Beach, and I do an hour stretch every morning, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, on the ocean and then I swim a mile to two miles on those days. And before I'm in the ocean, I'm there stretching, and you can always see two or three older guys going down the beach, you know, one of them's complaining, they go, well, Henry, I just had me a double pie bass. That's nothing, I just had me a kidney transplant. You know what I mean? So, that's the, so people, I find, use it as a great means of communication their problem. Mm -hmm. So here's the line. 
it's easier to talk about the problem than it is to embrace the solution. And I tell clients, never tell people what you want to do. Just do it. And let the dignity of your example be the message. Because people will always try to hold you down. Mm -hmm. And notice this, it's always the smallest dogs that make the most noise. We like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so it, nobody likes change except a wet baby, okay? Mm -hmm. And if we plan ahead, plan ahead. I mean, I, every Saturday night, I know precisely what I'm going to do for the next week. I mean, if I didn't, I wouldn't get the two hours of fitness in a day. I wouldn't be able to eat correctly. I wouldn't be able to coach my clients on certain times. I have four corporations I run. You indicated I published 25 books. That's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And to to uh, have four DVD series and have all of that edited down and done and keeping everybody in the spirit of harmony, making sure everything's going on. You know what the deal is. Right. Look at all that you're doing here. You've mm -hmm. got the you've got the uh, uh, editors. You've got the uh, general managers. You've got your position. You've got line guests up. All of that, if you were not in charge of your time, and that's what we are, we are in charge of our time. Let me just say this, if, 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 if we need to plan ahead. Mm -hmm. Notice it wasn't raining when Noah built the ark. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so that's what we're going to cover in the first of 12 series, now that we know what help is. Mm -hmm. What help is not. There you go. We've got it all down right now, okay? You betcha, <laughs> we're getting okay. on a roll. We're going to take a quick break right now. We'll be right back after these messages, so stay with Dr. Wayne and myself. <laughs>